Dragon Folk, if there's one thing I have to tell you, it's to skip Dominaria United Jumpstart. Dragon Folk, welcome on into the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate you all, and I'm very happy to have you here again listening to me just speak words out of my mouth because apparently that's what the people love. So if uh, I didn't mention it in my last video, which I'm pretty sure I didn't because I'm making this one immediately after the one I made last time, so that's how editing works now, I am very happy with how fast we're growing. Uh, we are pretty much at 380 subscribers. I said I wanted to hit 400 subscribers at the end of September, and it looks like at the rate we are going, uh, I might even hit that before the middle of September. So thank you all so much for continuing to support the channel in any way you possibly can. And I love speaking to all of you in the comments down below. I'm happy to have you guys join our Patreon. We do have new patrons as far as that goes. So welcome everybody in. Their names will be at the back of the uh, video. So make sure to, if, if you want to also have your name down there, you can check the description below. That's the link to the Patreon, and that is how you can go ahead and get your name in there uh, for supporting the channel. So, on to the topic of the day today, which is Dominaria United Jumpstart. So, what most people don't know, uh, you know, any new players that are coming in and Dominaria United is their first set, uh, before Dominaria United, there were theme packs right they sold these theme packs in stores and these theme packs followed certain colors right so uh you know you'd have one for red one for blue one for green so on so forth right and then you'd have like a sixth one that's like special to like a, a creature type or something that is prevalent in the set so the theme packs were notoriously bad there were a couple that were really good, and the only reason they were good is because every single one of them contained a uh, a card that you know rose in value comparatively uh, to other ones. Right? There's you, uh, you get a lot of uncommons and commons, and everything in these theme packs were exactly the same. It was the same throughout every theme pack, and you were able to get these things. So, for instance, Strixhaven, right? The Prismari Strixhaven set, which was blue red, uh, the Prismari theme pack had a expressive iteration in it, and so expressive iteration what became quickly became a very popular uncommon card to play, and so because of that, it was worth it almost to buy that theme pack and guarantee yourself an expressive iteration. So usually you could kind of make your money back a little bit, but um, you know, the price had gone up a lot and people were really wanting them. So uh, is it was a great, great thing for that. But the chances were that you weren't going to get something fantastic. Uh, I view theme packs as something that parents buy their kids, uh, you know, who are just trying to get into Magic the Gathering and the parents have no idea what that is. And so they go to Walmart and their kids are like, oh, look, I want to get this thing. And it's a, you know, theme booster. And the parents are like, sure, okay, Timmy, whatever you say. And they'll just buy them them that, right? They're not going to go and research into what every single card is in there and what the value is and whether or not it's worth it to actually do any of that. So that is the, uh, th that's the change here. So originally, there were, uh, you know, theme packs, right? These theme packs had, the, had a, a set of cards that were, guaranteed in these theme packs now we have jumpstart packs uh, jumpstart was a product that was released uh, i think it was like 2020 i want to say maybe like yeah it was around 2020 i think uh or 2019 i can't remember where uh, you essentially the whole point of the thing is you take two packs you slap them together and you make a deck out of them and so what they did is they removed the theme packs for dominaria united and instead replaced them with a jumpstart edition of Dominari United with a bunch of different, uh, you know, ways to play 
and multiple different color combinations and same concept. You take two packs, you slap them together, you make a deck, you face your opponents, right? But during the uh, announcement of the Dominaria United Jumpstart, uh, we came to find out that there were going to be five exclusive cards that were not available in the Dominaria United main set. That these five cards were only going to be available in Jumpstart, they said exclusive specifically to Dominaria United Jumpstart. So when you hear the word exclusive, what does that mean to you? Right? I, I want you to think about what that means to you. The word exclusive would usually mean that you can only get these things in this product. There's no, no other way for you to obtain them other than singles through the secondary market. There's no way for you to obtain them. But from what we can tell from multiple box openings and multiple different sources, they're not exclusive to Jumpstart packs. Dominari United Jumpstart packs have these cards in them. And yes, if you get a blue pack, you are guaranteed to get Cosmic Epiphany in every single pack that contains blue. And then you have a chance to get another rare or mythic uh, depending on, you know, the luck of the draw, essentially. You have a chance to get an additional card that is a random rare or mythic from the set. So every one of these packs contains one of these special, you know, cards, and there's one card per color. So with this being the case, you would think, okay, well, how else do I obtain them, right? If they're exclusive to Jumpstart packs only, then I should only be able to get them in Jumpstart packs. Incorrect. According to Wizards of the Coast and also all of the openings that have been occurring, you can get these exact same cards in set boosters as well. There's a chance for you to get these five cards, uh, the cards being Sarah Redeemer, Cosmic Epiphany, Tyrannical Pit Lord, Ragefire Hellkite, and Briar Hydra. These five cards are the cards that are supposed to be the exclusives, but you can find them in set boosters for Dominaria United. There's a chance that you will find one of these in there. And then you have the collector boosters. In the collector boosters, you can find extended art versions of these cards in the collector boosters. So this is another, you know, fault at Wizards of the Coast for claiming that something is exclusive to a product. They do this, it seems, all the time with their advertising. That they say that certain cards are only available in certain things, or these packs contain, you know, what they did with Double Masters 2022. They said that every, every single draft booster pack for Double Masters 2022 was going to have two borderless cards in it. Two. And you're lucky to get one in them. It, it's not a guarantee, it is a fumble on Wizards of the Coast marketing in telling people these things and then expecting them to go, okay, well, let's put in that pre-order, right? And I genuinely feel bad, and I hope that the people who pre-ordered a box of Jumpstart for Dominaria United canceled their pre-order because those things were going for like $111, and then the second they unleashed these cards and it became known to the public what the exclusives were and that they weren't actually exclusive the price tanked and now they're sitting at like 87 dollars so that's something i wanted to talk about i i genuinely don't like how i don't know whether or not that was a ploy on wizard's end to try and get people to buy this product uh and, and pre-order this stuff because i'm sure the more that a product is pre-ordered the more wizards can tell the higher ups and go hey look, we're making money and the product's not even out yet. Like, keep it up. We're going to do so great. But the people out there who look deeper into this are the people who are going to save the most money. Because I now, I, ha I had an opportunity in where I was like, I might be able to buy a jumpstart for Dominari United. I might be able to buy a box, right? I, I thought it was going to be cool. I love the concept behind it, right? You know, slapping two packs together making a deck out of it, 
Uh, and then I liked the fact that you could get rares and mythics from the main set in there as well. And it looks like a decent amount of them come out of the Jumpstart packs, such as a lot of the Defilers, the Lords. Uh, I've seen some mythics pulled out of there too. So pretty fantastic, but it's not worth the money, I guess. Because uh, not only that, you get less packs in here. There are 18 packs in a Dominaria United Jumpstart booster box, whereas in a draft box, you get 36. So literally double the amount there. And it is, it's only, it's, it's all the stuff from the main set. Now you can't get these five cards in draft packs. As far as I can tell, you can't get them in draft packs. But if you're looking for any of these five cards, I guarantee you they will be worth cents on the open market the second everything is released on the 9th, right? Once it's all out there and the prices are are confirmed and things are look, you know, looking forward into this, that's when you're going to know uh, how much these are going to be worth. But I'm certain because you can find them in Extended Arts, you can find them in the Set Boosters, and you can find them in Jumpstart. This means that anybody who is going to buy a Jumpstart thing to play with their friends or to, you know, buy a couple packs from a store and open them and be able to play with somebody else or even having an event at an LGS for Dominaria United, these cards are going to be available. And frankly, most of them are kind of meh. I think Sarah Redeemer, the, the angel creature, is probably the best one. Uh, and then maybe next, the Tyrannical Pit Lord. But otherwise, everything else is kind of just okay. So I don't see why these cards are going to be going for a lot. I don't think it's going to be some end-all, be-all product that is going to be you know, blowing the minds of all the players. I think at the end of the day, what they did is they did exactly the same thing with theme boosters, but they just gave it a new name. Because every one of the packs that you open in Dominaria United Jumpstart, if it's a, uh, you know, whatever the uh, terrifyingly big is like one of the names of the, the, the packs or whatever the heck it's called, I can't remember. Um, those, the cards inside that pack are always going to be the same aside for one random rare mythic from another set that might be in there. Otherwise, every card, every uncommon, every common, all the lands, they're all going to be the exact same card. So you're still getting things like the theme boosters where it's every single card is always the same. But the worst part is, is that in Jumpstart Dominaria United, you have less to work through. With the original Jumpstart product, you had like 30 or 40 different themes in which you could open in these packs. And... You know, those themes sometimes came with a really powerful mythic or they didn't. And it was very hard to find like the elves, right? Allosaurus Shepherd. You had a chance to get Allosaurus Shepherd in there. It wasn't a guarantee. Otherwise, its price would have been significantly lower. But opening an elf pack, you knew you had a chance at an Allosaurus Shepherd. Whereas here, the only thing you had a chance of is any of the cards that are in the Dominaria United set. Now, I want to be explicitly clear when I say this. I don't believe that the idea behind Jumpstart is awful. I think it's a great way to get new players or even younger players to forget about deck building, right? And instead, you just take two packs, slap them together and learn, right? It's a great way to get introduced into the mechanics of Magic the Gathering without all the hassle of having to buy you know, hundreds of dollars worth of cardboard to kind of get the point across. This is a simple two packs. I don't know if they're going to be doing it the exact same way that they were with the original Jumpstart, but they sold these four pack bundles in big box stores. And that was essentially the quickest way for you to take those two packs, slap them together, give your two, give, give the two other packs to a friend they put those together and then you just play. So those are pretty cheap. I'd imagine those are only going to go for like 15 bucks, maybe, maybe less. And you can just do that. Now, granted, do I think it's worth 15 bucks? Absolutely not. I think like $10 is a good price point. But 
at the end of the day, there is a chance that you can get pretty good stuff out of here too. So $15 might be eh. And the only reason I say is because like you can get a mythic from the main set in any of these packs. So if you open up the uh, one of the black colored packs, right? There's two of them. And you're definitely going to get a tyrannical pit lord in every pack, but you could also get a Liliana of the Veil or a Shieldred, right? I mean, like those are options that can be pulled from there. But is it the best value for you? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, but again, let me just be clear. I think Jumpstart is great. I love the concept behind Jumpstart. I love everything to do with it. I just think that specifically these five cards, I don't like that Wizards went about making them exclude. They, they said that they were going to be exclusive and then they weren't. So that's my rant. I've literally just been talking about this for like over 10 minutes. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Why were these things exclusive? Why, why should you skip this product if you're more of a collector of a set and an investor into the game. Uh, honestly, I don't even think a player should be buying this product, right? I think a player has a better chance and will have a better time opening a draft booster box or even a set booster box than an actual jumpstart booster box. So even though the jumpstart booster box may be cheaper, it has half the packs of a draft box and its cards are all duplicates pretty much. So you're not really going to get a lot of great things out of it. You're going to get a, you're going to get more variety coming out of a draft box and it's going to just like feel better. You're going to be able to do a draft with your friends or you can do sealed with your friends. Um, you can play around with a bunch of different uh, limited concepts. You can take the draft packs and just crack them open and see what's inside. You can keep it sealed and it'll hold some good value down the road, even though it's not the box with the legends cards in them, but if it's what you can afford, it's what you can afford and that's totally fine. So thank you all so much for watching. I do really appreciate your support. Uh, thank you for allowing me to capture your attention for more than five minutes and uh, sit through this little tiny rant I have about the Dominaria United jumpstart product. Hopefully you guys learned something today. Hopefully you learned that these cards are not exclusive. So even if they were exclusive and they were only exclusive to the Dominaria United jumpstart packs, um, you could buy them in singles. And that's probably what everybody would have done anyway if they were only exclusive to this stuff. But it turns out they're not, so you don't even need to worry about it. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about Jumpstart, right? Because I love it. I want to get the Jumpstart 2022 when it comes out and then, you know, see what kind of stuff is in there. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about Jumpstart and even specifically with these five not exclusive exclusive cards and uh while you're down there make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel as well if you have not already and again we do have a fantastic patreon program in the description down below you feel free to check that out i always appreciate it but it's definitely not necessary given that little subscribe button a kiss is more than enough for me so thank you so much and i will see you all very soon nerd out